genetically modified organisms be labeled? If it's genetically altered, I personally would like to know. Okay. I mean, I, I feel very uncomfortable eating food, and it's not. If I don't have some way of knowing that it's not. Okay. What's in it? Um, yeah, I think it's a good idea. I mean, just like you'd want to know if there were pesticides, if it was conventional or if it was organic, kind of same thing. I think if it's genetically modified. You'd want to. Know, right. I, I figured you'd want to know that. Kind of trying to be the informed consumer. Right. It's like if there's antibiotics that have been like worked into them, then yeah, they should be labeled because people are real sensitive to that. Um, if it's genetically modified in that, um, say they've added, they've they've. Uh, spliced together different genes that are resistant to like you know mold or fungus or things like that I don't think that's necessary so. uh, yeah I think so I mean it belongs to the consumer right to know right. Um, I'm not against them but I think it's just like meat it should be labeled okay. thank you <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm basically a vegetarian, so I just want good, wholesome grains and rice and veggies anyway, but I have no idea. I think they should, because I think a lot of people are concerned about buying products that have been genetically altered, so it would be good just to, just to let the consumers know. Does that mean genetically altered in the field or in the lab? Uh, either one, I guess. Okay. Because both happen. I mean, people will crossbreed plants and that's genetically altering them but then there's also genetically altering in the lab and they both have uh, different effects. Well, so well, what's your thinking on that? Uh, I'm kind of ambivalent about it. I mean there it if it's genetically altered that's fine with me but I like to know you know if it's going to put it on the label it'd be nice to have a history of okay it's genetically altered it's been done in the lab or it's been done in the field here the tests have been done here are the results maybe it's not on the label but maybe it's available oh. so people know what they're getting. Or why, I mean, why did they genetically alter it? What's yeah. the result of the engineering that yeah, they did? Does it have more? What the direct effects are, but the side effects will take time. You don't, you don't know what the side effects are either in the body or in the field. No, I, I, I believe that the product should be labeled. I think that the consumers should be made aware and, and consequently make the choice as to whether or not buy the product. Gotcha. That's it. That's it. Save for produce and they'll say the sign next to it maybe. But sure, why not, if you want to. <laughs> okay. Well, what do you, I mean, just That's adding good. the information to a label? Yeah. yeah. I don't care. Yeah. All right. But it's for genetic modified food that they're talking right, so about. So if you have a potato, you're not going to like have a special sign on each potato that says this is genetically altered because I think most food is. But they could, it's just, they label everything anyway, right? I don't care. I don't have an opinion, really. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. Uh, I think uh, customers should know uh, what they are getting. It's, uh, but I mean, I don't have any dislike to using them, but I should know. You should know, that. right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right, appreciate it. Um, yeah, sure. There's so many labels these days. Label it. All right, thank you. <laughs> Should be labeled as such, or is it not a big deal? It's a big deal. It should be labeled as such. <clears throat> why you know, is that? Why is that? Yeah. Because you have no idea what's coming off in that stuff. You know, it's not been tested. Although there recently, um, December, there was an article on the front page of the Davis Enterprise in which they said many of the very top scientists at um, UCD said that these things have been tested and the FDA has approved them. Therefore, we should accept it. But if you look back at who works for the FDA and who works for these companies, you'll find they're the same people. They operate in a revolving door situation. Okay? So I'm really glad you asked me the question. I've been <laughs> waiting to answer this for years. <laughs> so what you have is you have um, basically people that are approving them that work for the companies that seek to get them approved and have all the monetary advantages at their disposal. And they're the ones that are going to benefit. Say. It doesn't put more food into the earth for, as they say, we need more food because of more people. That's garbage. Uh, the concept behind that is purely economic. If people can't afford the food, they won't give them the food or sell them the food. It's simple. So it's not a, 
an issue of more food through genetic engineering. That's never been the issue. That issue is specifically more money for the producers of genetically engineered foods. That's it. Yes, because regardless of what the effects are, people do have a definite concern, and it would definitely de it would definitely affect how they're purchasing. Okay. From Mexico. Okay. And then I can. Do you know what genetically modified food is? Nope. Okay. It, well, only if there's a potential if it would, you know, cause, you know, uh, serious harm to, um, serious harm to that individual. People ought to have a choice. Um, in any way, the food you're, that you're taking in ought to be identified and, it, and individuals receive a choice. Okay? Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I don't know, but I would think so. You think so? Yeah, I think everything should be pretty labeled pretty good. Thank you very much. Thank you. It, I, I think there's probably nothing wrong with genetically um, modified uh, organisms, but I think we should know what we're eating, and we should have the option to buy them or not buy them. But I, um, I, I personally think they're probably fine, but I would like to know what I'm eating. I like to know what's in what I eat. Yeah, it definitely should be labeled, but I don't think it should be done in the first place. What's wrong with it, though? What is it? They're just spli they're messing with something that's just, I think... But if it's not harmful to human beings, what's wrong with it? I don't think they've done enough testing to show that it's not harmful to human beings. Okay, thank you. What's the long-term result of put splicing animal genes into vegetable organisms? I don't know that much, but I think it's wrong. Uh, sure, I'd prefer that it would be labeled. There's uh, no harm in having a, an informed consumer. People want to buy it. Go ahead. Okay. Not be labeled necessarily as no, long as it's tested. Uh, no, as long as it's tested. Okay. As long as FDA knows what's in it. Cool. Um. Yeah. Probably. Because you never know what they're going to put in it. You know. So probably. Yeah. I think it'd probably be a good idea. A lot of people are concerned about it. Personally, I don't have a strong view. I don't think I have enough information, but it's good information to have. Okay. Thank you. Sure, you're welcome. Appreciate it. Uh, yes, I do. Why is that? Well, I believe that they could pose a possible health risk because there hasn't been a whole lot of research into the safety of them. And if there has, and I just don't know about it, then I guess uh, it wouldn't matter that much to me. But as far as I know, they're fairly uh, unresearched, and so it could be a rather large health risk. Right. So as a consumer, you feel that most people should be informed, at least everyone should be informed on what they're buying and exactly what's in the, in the products that's engineered genetically? Well, they should definitely be informed. Right. Um, whether or not they should take the genetically engineered food off the markets, that's a different matter. But definitely, you should always inform the consumer of what they're purchasing. Okay. It sort of spoke for me as well. So okay. I, I think it's a little bit overstated labeling perhaps but uh -huh. uh, I think uh, people have to understand what's involved in genetically engineered food and I think there's a good reason for many of these food products uh, to come to the market and be on the market and be available for people that are interested and uh, so should food products be labeled if they include genetically modified or engineered oh products? yes I think they I definitely think they should be labeled so that we know and uh, if we are frightened of that we can not buy them thank you they can know about what they're eating I don't know honest <laughs> answer okay thank you I need to uh, <laughs> we're here at the co-op at uh, Davis we're asking people if genetically modified foods should be labeled. No, that wasn't right. <laughs> cut, cut. Okay. We're here at the, uh, the co op in Davis. We were wondering. No, that's wondering. That's horrible. Okay. Cut it again. Take another, uh, take another one. Let's wait till the Modified organisms be labeled? Yes, they should. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Everybody else seems to. Why? I don't know. Well, here we have it, folks. Yes. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Jeremy Milford. Let me come out right. I'm